Okay, so hello everyone. I'm going to do a short lecture on Le Chatelier's principle. Um, so this is something that you're going to learn about throughout this explain lesson. The first thing you need to know is the definition. So the definition of Le Chatelier's principle says if a dynamic equilibrium, okay, so remember equilibrium is shown by a reaction that has arrows going both ways. Dy dynamic means that it can shift. It's constantly moving. It can go forward or backward. So equilibrium remembers when the two reactions forward and reverse are happening at the same speed. So if you have this reaction and it's disturbed by adding product or reactant or changing the temperature, the system will work to restore the equilibrium. This also uh, can be affected by pressure, but that only happens for a gaseous system. So it's a very specific one. Um, so the thing we're going to talk about in this video is how adding product or reactant actually affects the uh, reaction and how it will shift to restore equilibrium. So the first example is this reaction when you have CO, which is carbon monoxide, combining with O2, okay, oxygen gas, to create CO2. And you can see this double arrow here shows it's a reversible reaction. So in the first example, we're saying if you add a CO2, then the reaction will shift to the blank and make more CO and O2 to restore the equilibrium. So if you add a lot of CO2 to this reaction, more CO2 on the right side, it wants to get rid of it, right? So it wants to shift to the left to get rid of the CO2. It wants to turn the CO2 into CO and O2. So it will shift to the left. It will shift away from the thing that you added. Here's another example. Let's say we take the same reaction, but instead we're removing CO2. We're taking it away. We're decreasing the amount. Now, to be in equilibrium, it wants to add more CO2, right? So it wants to shift to the right, okay? So it'll shift to the right to make more CO2 to replace what you removed. So if you remove something, it'll shift towards that side to make more. Okay, so let's take that and see if you can answer this question. If you added CO, would the reaction shift to the left or the right? So if you added more carbon monoxide, what's going to happen? So I'll give you a second to think about it. So you added more CO, which means that the it wants to get rid of that CO to rebalance the reaction. So it's going to shift to the right to get rid of it, to turn it into carbon dioxide. So if you add more CO, it's going to shift away to the right side. Okay. So here's another one. Will it shift left or right if you remove Na sodium from the following reaction? Okay. So think about what the answer is. Maybe pause the video if you need longer. So if we remove Na, if this goes down, it wants to make more, and so it's going to shift to the left. So if you remove something, it shifts towards that side. Okay, last one. Will it shift left or right if you take away NaCl, okay, sodium chloride, to the, uh, it should say from the following reaction. Let's fix that. From the following reaction. Okay, so if you remove NaCl, What's going to happen? So if you remove NaCl from the right side, if you decrease it, it wants to make more, so it's going to shift to the right to make more. So if you remove something, it shifts towards that side to replace it. Okay? So the key thing to understand is if you increase the amount of something, either a product or reactant, it'll shift away. So if you increase the left side, it'll shift to the right. If you increase the right side, it'll shift to the left. It goes away. If you decrease or remove a reactant or product, it wants to shift towards. So if you remove something from the left side, it'll shift to the left. If you move from the right, it shifts to the right. Another way to think of this besides left and right is forward and reverse reaction. If you're going from left to right, that's considered the forward reaction, right? Because that's the way we read, left, right, so that's forward. And if you're shifting to the left, that would be considering the reverse reaction. So going from right to left is the reverse reaction. So you may be seeing forward and reverse reaction. You may be seeing shift left and right. Um, now what's going to happen next, you're going to learn what happens if you have temperature involved. So if you change the temperature, you need to know something about the reaction. So in this case, you need to know which side the heat's on. Is it on the, the reactants the, or the product side? Um, and then you'll be able to figure out what's going to happen if I increase the heat. So that's going to be the next, uh, section. I apologize for the quality of my webcam. It's a little glitchy, but still maybe you enjoyed seeing my face, even if there was a little glitching going on.